Hi again everyone, I'm Ollie Matthews. This is The Narcissistic Resistance and this resistance video is a sponsored video by Amy for Esther and here's Esther's story. Hello Ollie, you can call me Esther for your video please. I just went no contact for the second time with my narcissist family. I want this to be the last time. I'm one of four girls. My parents had two sets of kids nine years apart. They planned for my they planned for my sister. She was the golden child who could do no wrong. I was an accident and was told later was born even though they used two forms of birth control. I was marked as the scapegoat from birth. My mother always said my mother always says that I slept a lot as a child. What she neglects to tell people is that my older sister would be physically beat me to a pulp. She would strangle me until I pass out. My parents would punish me for her wrongdoing. They would throw my head into, into the wall for time out and so forth. The worst of it was my parents made me shower with my older sister until I was 15. She ended up molesting and raping me in the shower daily starting at age 10 until the showers ended. As an adult, they stole all my money from connected accounts making excuses like you don't want us to pay our mortgage and so forth. Uh, no, they weren't paying their mortgage. You were paying their mortgage. I finally went to college, found my husband, married young. They attempted to pull him in as a son, but he wouldn't have any of it. I have been making boundaries that they have been stampeding over. Through therapy, I've discovered my PTSD from abuse and that they never really loved me. I finally cut them off. I say this... I say all this to say how I can make sure I, I don't fall back into their traps. The last time I tried no contact, my little sisters physically came to my house and pushed their way into my home. They overpowered me physically and I gave in. What should I do if that happens again? Thank you, Esther. <clears throat> Call the police. Lock your... Ha lock your doors okay if they show up you don't answer the door you just call the police and you say there's people here I don't want them here please get them to leave before there's an incident you don't argue with them you don't you don't try to reason with them if they physically touch you you call the police you have 911 on speed dial and say I need help and you record you record everything you record everything. And you'd be surprised when you're holding a phone how much different their behavior will be. Now, as far as you not falling back into their traps, I don't really know what kind of traps they could really lay for you. I mean, what, emotional traps, guilt traps? I mean, your parents let your older sister rape you until you were 15 stole your money I mean I don't understand what what kind of traps here um, that you would fall back into emotionally I don't I don't know if that's what you were talking about but I don't this letter should which should stop that so always remind they stole from me they let me they let my older sister molest me they physically pushed their way into your house the first the first time you went no contact and overpowered you physically? Like, who are these people? See, I, I, I have no time or tolerance for people who put hands on other people like this, family members who put their fucking hands on other, on other, like your property. Keep your fucking hands off of me. The only way you deal with this is you don't fight it. You put a you, you put an alarm on your house if you can. You keep your doors locked. You you make sure you record. And the second you see them coming for you, you call the police. And you file a restraint. You get a restraining order if need be. That's it. And your husband's gonna have to. If you have a you say you have a husband, he's gonna have to be able to stand there with you. Record everything everything 
everything because they're going to make up lies. They're going to say you assaulted them. They're not going to stop. So the time is now to start investing in in some recording equipment, record on your phone, be ready to call the police and have a plan if you see them. You are not to engage them, you're not to talk to them because that's giving them what they want. There's to, they're to look at a locked door until the police show up and you are to talk to the police and only to the police. That is what you do. As far as you falling into traps, keep reading this letter over and over again. That's how you not fall into their trap. Okay, if they're physically standing over you, you need to get to a, like, when they did that the last time, you should have just called the police. Overpowered me physically and I gave in as an adult. As an adult. Should have said whatever you had to to get him out of there. Relocked the door and said, fuck you. And then fine, and then called the cops. This is what narcissists do, man. This is usually the end result of narcissism. When they can't get, they will get physically violent. They will physically try to manhandle you. They will physically try to control you, even as an adult. Because they are children with no ability to respect the wishes of other people if they want their way. That's just how it is. So you have to have a plan to be ready. So I hope that helps. Thank you, Amy, for uh, sponsoring. Thank you, Esther, for the story. I hope it. I hope that helps. I hope this works out for you. But I mean, that's that's the best advice I can give you. You know, as far as the emotional traps, just read this over and over again. You keep it simple. Keep it simple to not fall into the traps. You don't have to overthink this. They let your sister rape you in the shower. They stole your money as an adult. Right there, what trap are you falling into? Keep it simple and you won't fall into the narcissist trap. So thank you again. I hope that helps. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comments section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, you'd like to set up a Skype chat, have a private video made, phone call, sponsor a video for someone else, a Facebook chat, or just sponsor the channel in general, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. And if you're still unclear, the subscription link will pop up. I'm um, sorry, the... Um, Instructional link will pop up at the end on the screen at the end of this video. We'll walk you through all that. Please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been The Narcissistic Resistance.